These are the two sides. New Zealand forced into making a change because McCullum has a bad thumb. He can't keep wickets, but he will open the batting. And McGlashan comes in. Peter McGlashan from the Northern Knights to make his one-day international debut, which means Neil Broom misses out, carries the drinks for India. Exactly the same side as was used to win game one. India will bat first again. Their captain, M.S. Stoney, called correctly. Let's get across to the first action with Martin Crow and Ravi Shastri. Easily pushed away to open India's account. Sawag looking very nonchalant on that stroke. Slashed away and it's uh, racing to the boundary here. Lucky, real lucky there. Bowling uh, was good because it was straight. Beautifully tucked away. How about the timing? Tendulkar is going to tease Elliot all the way to the fence and that is a beautiful stroke to bring up his first boundary. Has it gone down to a deep final leg? No, he's too square. He's too square. And in the end, O'Brien probably ends up conceding a six. He's doing exactly that. Smashed it through mid-wicket. Really, he's a powerhouse of a player. What does the bowler do? It was a bit square. That's gone as well. And De Sobek deliberately getting it uh, in front of the wicket because of the man that's now picking up the ball from the gutter. Well, it ain't there. I mean, you just can't bowl that leg. That was hit with tremendous power. Not a lot of height in the shot, but certainly it was just like a bullet off the bat. Oh, gee whiz, that was in the air, and it's just going to be one of those days for Savag. He might be labouring, but his accuracy and his timing. Sublime, he's got 50 in the first 10 overs by himself at 65 for none. Thanks. And line, maybe get a pop up. Tendulkar has got that beautifully in front of cover. Oh, it wasn't that bad a ball. It wasn't that bad a finish to the over, but it looks like it now in the book. 74 for none. It can also be heard as well. Oh, yeah. Two noises there, but what were they? He's given him out. He's not happy to go. He's not happy at all, Savag. You can see the shake of the head. There were a couple of noises, but was there bat? It was hard. It was to his right hand and high above his head. But he got a good piece of hand on it. Well, pulls it away this time. Has it all the way? Yes, it is. For him. What now? This one. Lovely timing. Through the covers. Vittori won't get it. That is a terrific shot and a great finish to the over. Tendok has given himself room here. He's gone out over extra cover. Hasn't timed it all that well, but he'll get four. Tendok goes again, this time through the onside. Dragged across through mid wicket, but it was a half volley length and he was quick onto it and put it away. Tendok goes down the ground again. That is magnificent. All the way along the ground, four more. And the ground staff are coming on. Bales are off, Rudy Kurtzson's pulling the stumps. And Brett Sipthorpe and his team of groundsmen. A lot of people probably fairly thankful that we've had some cricket at all. They've only got to encounter the third one, which is when India choose to take it. That's four overs. Another good stroke from Gambier, and guess what? He's found the gap. Struck. It's in the gap. The outfield has quickened up as well. So the first boundary after the break, and the Indian captain getting a move on. Now, where's this? This is locked up. It's, it's got to be out. Caught, is it? Yes, it is. 
Gambier's gone. Caught by Elliott. Oh, nice strike. Nice strike. Targeted mid off and headed over the top for four. Side so, no, there is a deep point. Now this has gone straight up. Has it gone long enough? I think it has. Oh, he's got this. It hasn't gone straight up. But that's gone long. He's a little man, but he packs a punch. Lent delivery, and uh, he's just come out to the crease, and this is a good shot. There's the chase out here. He's picked a gap absolutely perfectly. I don't think that's where he intended it to go, but he'll take the result. Yeah, they're desperate to stay out there. This one's square, so just a single the Rhino this time. He's definitely not happy. The Tory. He's not happy at all being out there. I guess he's thinking in this little this little uh, stint of bowling it hasn't been too bad. It could have been a lot worse for him. There's been a couple of nice strokes played there, so he'd be quite happy to leave the field right now. We'll hamper them a bit. And I can just see the umpires uh, waiting for a bit. And as I speak, it's just eased off a bit the rain. So again, the tactics will have to change for the batting side. Too full. He's got that very square. Far too square. <laughs> Once again, Rana shows this uh, knack of being able to hit the Yorker behind point for some runs. Just a single this time. The uh, the rain now is just uh, blowing in again. I think if they didn't go off the park for the last one, they can't go off the park for this one. Well, they are. They're not going to listen to me. And uh, out come the covers once again. And, uh, well, I would say that is the end of the first innings. With India, 188 for four from 28.4 overs. The Duckwood Lewis system will come into play here. And uh, a prediction we've made as to where they should be in terms of uh, wickets if uh, this was a 50-over game. And they will have to wait for whatever the target is. But uh, right now, you get the feeling that India have had their turn at bat. Because at the moment, it'll be a 28 over contest. But you don't want it to carry on for that length of time where India can't get in 20 overs. If that happens, then uh, play will be called off. And that's how the Indian innings have gone. Uh, once again, a good start for, for India. Sevag and uh, Tendulkar getting into the act. Uh, Sevag uh, dominating that opening uh, partnership. 54 from 36. Tendulkar found some form uh, towards the end of that inning. 61 from 69. And then uh, New Zealand pull things back with uh, a couple of wickets in quick time. Yuvraj missing out today. Then Tony and Rainer seeing India to the end of the innings. 188.